What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game of Hero. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. I'm excited today, and I hope you are trying to get through this intro super fast so we can get to some important trader battles. So we have a couple of those today. So I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Let's go through a quick team recap because team recaps are nice, and I don't have the entire team. Woo! What a start. Okay, let's go get our other team member that we don't have in the party because we have a mega swapper that kind of casually needs to be on the team because you know i kind of love it way too much but that's okay because it's a mega swapper and it deserves to be loved because you know gen 3 hype um even though i don't really like gen 3 very much gen 3 is but it is one of the games that i used to play very commonly so i mean it's okay we got papa the level 16 aroma veil Trumbeak with Dark Pulse, Roost, Dizzy Punch, and Play Rough. We got Green Burn with Searing Shot, Psybeam, Hex, and Sacred Fire. We got Daddy the Machamp with Storm Throw, Brick Break, Snatch, and Cotton Card. And lastly, we got Zayden the Long Reaching Mega Swampert. So, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I am as well. Um, we're out here. We're doing everything that we can. Um, I just I need to buy Pokeballs. I just realized that. Hey, we're actually recording in the daytime for once in our life, and it's actually nighttime in this game. That's a first. <laughs> That's like a real first, because I swear, we have not been able to record this series before 6 o'clock at all. So, a very interesting first time for everything. Um, we're only going to buy 10 Great Balls, which is okay. I feel like we have two encounters in this episode, so we have an opportunity to have a team of six. I highly doubt we will, just because I don't trust it. I don't trust having a team of six, because honestly, why trust it, right? Like, it's always way too scary for its own good. And then once you have a team of six, you have to train them all up, and it's really annoying. Um, actually, it's not. I love having a team of six, especially with the experience share, the way it is in this game. It's like, you don't even have to... Be, there's, like, little to worry about. Um, let's go ahead... Go into where we need to go and talk to our main woman, Lily, because Lily is a beast. And we have a 6v6 battle. I actually have two in this episode, so whoop de doo da Who's ready to get walloped? Me. Um, honestly, I have no idea what's about to happen or what's going to pop up on our screen. Um, I don't need a bang right now. Like, literally, I just realized it. Like, I am talking, and I'm just super excited and really hyped, so... I can't just get myself more hyper. I'll save that for the stream because we're streaming Pokemon Challenge version tonight. So we're having a we're gonna have a good day. We are having a great day. I'm gonna watch some uh <coughs> what's it called? So Harry Potter today. What? No, you forced that on me? That's not okay. You can't force things on me. Our encounter for this is Anito King. You know what? With randomized moves, I'll take it. I will take an Edo King. It is level 10, so it's not even that low a level. 100%. If we can catch this, that'd be great. I feel like we can. It's not impossible. Okay. We got Acid. It's one of his moves. And I am down with that. I am down with the sickness. I don't know why I said it that way. But yeah, I am so down with the sickness. We're out here. Um, we are going to go ahead and kind of do what we need to do. We got a great ball. We have stuff to we can... We can catch this guy. It's a good, another backup Gen 1 mod, unfortunately, so we can't usually, you can't utilize it elsewhere. But honestly, I'm not complaining because it's got moves, it's got things that I can utilize. It's not a bad Pokemon. Like, if I were to complain about a Nido Queen or Nido King, I don't know who I would be. Um, like, honestly. It's, I don't have anything to put things. I don't have any statusers, and I think that's gonna, that's like one of the biggest issues that I've had on this team so far. Is without any statusing Pokemon, it's really hard. We had one in Salazzle, but it wouldn't even work against this Pokemon anyway, so it doesn't matter. But paralysis is the best status, or sleep is the best statuses when it comes to this kind of stuff right here. Um, so we are gonna name this Hatters. Hatter's the Nido Queen, Nido King. And we're gonna at Hatter's in this episode, because why not? You know, we're gonna make some references here. So, we love making references, and we're out here. We're having so much fun with the series. Like, I legitimately, last two episodes didn't bode very well in terms of audience retention, and I don't really know why. Uh, my guess is because the thumbnails were horrendous, and so that resulted in not being 
the best. Uh, but that's okay, because I still love you guys, and I know you love me, so it works. But I just was very curious with the last two episodes. But yeah, like I said, my guess is the thumbnails weren't enticing, and so that you guys clicked on it, because you guys are the best. And then it just wasn't interesting, because I had no way of making it interesting. Our Seaward Cave Encounter. Please be something I can catch. That's Gen 5. That's edible. That's edible. Right? Yeah, it is. And it can't be put to sleep. Let's go. I'm down with that. Okay, can't be put to sleep. We like that. It's another Gen 5 mon, and unfortunately, that is a fire type. Or uh, fi another fighting type. So, we do end up losing out on that standpoint, but I'm not mad. Um, not mad at all. And like I said, because I can add it to the team. Oh, magnitude. I am so glad. So glad I switched out right there. I had a weird feeling. So I went with my gut. Hex should not kill. There's no way. Oh my god, that did just barely enough not to kill. That's and you have seismic toss and math seismic toss and magnitude, huh? Well, that's interesting. Okay. Magnitude and seismic. We should catch it though. It's like really low on red. Like, we should be fine. Yeah! We get to add it to the team. Plop. And we're going to have Girder, which is actually Jonas's favorite Pokemon. I don't think I've named him on Jonas yet. Um. Anyway, we're going to name it Jonas because it's Jonas is a Metapod, but his favorite Mon is Conkelder. So, Jonas the Girder is joining the squad. So I'm very, I'm very happy. Like we got our, our two encounters were not bad, so they were definitely livable. And we got an escape rope, which is freaking fantastic. Um, no, don't save, please. So we're gonna go in our bag. We're gonna potion up because there's no reason not to. Um, I don't see a reason that we shouldn't, especially when we're about to go to a six v six fight. Okay, that said forty two. That's what I thought. I was like, did it say forty two? And Patters is not on the team, unfortunately. I cannot utilize Patters. So, we're going to come up, go ahead and take whatever item. A, a Max Revive. Thanks, Patters. I'm so happy you had a Max Revive. You know, def I would definitely expect the Master of Nuzlocke to have a Max Revive. Because, why not, right? Um, okay. Hi, Cosmog. How are you doing? Um, oh, boy. An elusive thought. Our target, indeed. Hmm, Solaria, test this one. I would be able to check the functionality of the Pokeball if we tried to make an image of the devices by the Alolan Pokeball, or, Poke, or Alolan people. Now that we have at least succeeded in using one of the capture, one to capture the Alolan Pokemon specimen. Yes, sir. I will do it at once. I've never heard her music. Oh wait, no, I have. I definitely have heard her music before. I remember this now. I didn't remember that it did the, like, that opening, though. Hey! You do not leave with my mascot. That is not okay, Solaria. Not happening. You're dying right now. You leave with my mascot and you enrage me. That's not, that's not how this, that's not how this game goes. That is not how this game goes. This game does not go enrage John by using your mascot. Um, it's got muddy water. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Not okay, Solaria. <laughs> Why? Why do we have Aaron references up the wazoo in literally every episode that we do? Like, I swear to God, like, it's hilarious. But it's like, really? An Aaron reference, again. Why? <laughs> I'm like, I love recording with Aaron, but like, can we keep our Aaron references to recordings with Aaron? Like, that'd be great. Um, but apparently the game says, nah, uh, uh. I think I know why the game says nah, uh, uh, but I can't talk about why it says nah, uh, uh. a spinda. Oh, it's it's Trashda. We love Trashda. Trashda's the best Pokemon ever. Um, if this is a shiny, I'm gonna laugh because this could be possibly the rare shiny in Pokemon history. We'll find out right now. Nope. Darn, Solaria, you had a you had a opportunity to uh, impress me, but you failed. Which am I surprised? Not really, but. You know, why not? We got a crit on Brick Break, which is perfectly fine, because I mean we wouldn't have we would have killed anyway, but we take those. 
Let's see, level 20. We will take that entirely. And how, like, I guess, a tank. Okay, okay, that's easy too. We got Zane. Um, but how has everybody's day been? My, like I said, I said it's been well so far. I got some cage lock recordings done with Aaron, so that was awesome. I can't tell you what happened in the cage lock episode. You're going to have to find out on Wednesday. Um, okay, big up, Drizzle. We'll take it. Um, so you're going to have to find out on Wednesday what ended up happening in cage lock. But I can tell you right now, it was an amazing episode, and you should totally check it out when it comes out. Um, I cannot believe it is almost May. It does not feel like it's almost May. Like, not gonna lie, it feels like it's still January. Like, it's it's crazy. Like, because again, like I I feel like literally just yesterday, Jonas and I were attempting to literally play all the Pokemon games back to back to back which we are going to try and do again it was an amazing thing that we did and I really loved it a lot uh, we just need to find the right time when the universe is not going into shambles so that we can do that um, but yeah so it's just funny like it's funny to me to kind of look back on some of the things that happened this year and be like wow that was months ago like for example so the Pokemon Sun tri -Link, a series that I tried to do with Copla and uh, Karai which was going really well and then we just couldn't there was we couldn't find a time and it was it made, it made sense um like what happened and how it went about and we handled it the exact way that i would lo i loved the way we handled that um that was almost a year ago and that makes me feel extremely old like one year ago today well, not today. I say today, but like, yeah. One year, almost a year ago, Kolpa and I and Karai were in this game, and we had to fight a Megarna, a Mega Mawile, and something else that I forgot what was on Karai's screen, but I think Karai's screen was crazy as well. Um, like, it's wild. Oh my god, you had Dark Pulse. Why? Um, or oh, that was Snarl. Okay, that's a little better. So, it's like, you look at it in that limelight, and you're like, wow. Have I really known everybody in the community for, like, over a year now? And that answer is yes. Time just flies, and I don't know, I don't know how, the, if, how it does it so well. But it just zips, like, it's nobody's business. It's like, what happened? Like, seven years ago, I started this channel. Like, over seven years ago now. And we, like, four years, my first Nuzlocke was over three years ago, which is insanity to think about. Like, my Pokemon Leaf Green randomizer Nuzlocke, it was kind of funny, a lot of the Poketubers have actually started with the same games, which is really weird, but also cool at the same time. Like, Shady at his, for his first Nuzlocke was the game that I played. My first, or Patter's first Nuzlocke was the game, uh, the other version of the game that I played. It's just funny, like, how that ends up working um because this is before i even like really deep dived into the community um so it's kind of it's just weird to really see all that and how that all kind of dissolved into being what it is today um i like when i look at what i've accomplished and what uh, we as a community have accomplished over the years. It's kind of crazy. Oh, that's a boomy! I wish it was a shiny boomy so we could catch it, but we can't catch it, unfortunately. Uh, but it really doesn't matter because it would be Gen 1, and I think we got a better encounter anyway. But I love boomy. Okay, so OBS is bugging. We're back. I think I fixed it. We should be good. Oh, you. Phew. Thank you. And you should take Trumpeak, too. Pure. Let me at least heal your Pokemon. I literally went back to get healed by you, Lily, because I thought that you didn't do that. I'm sad now. I'm I'm very sad, because I literally just did that for no apparent reason. Oh, okay, but that's okay. Because Nebby's complaining, and that's okay. Nebby can go ahead and complain, which is fine. We love when Nebby complains, because when Nebby complains, the world complains. Um, we get to fight how now? This is what I was waiting for. Because, like, I, when I, I walked out, because I forgot to talk to Nebby, the one thing I literally forgot to go. And it's like, I cannot believe I forgot to talk to Nebby. Nebby is literally a conspiracy theorist. Like, 
How did I forget? The Toxic Conspiracy Theorist Nebby. It's, ugh, I don't know. I don't understand why I didn't forget that. So, his first Pokemon is a Clodzer, which honestly is a little scary. Um, not going to lie. I'm a little bit threatened by that, but that's okay. Okay, maybe we could, this can fix the issue. Uh, we're going against how because we were getting, again, we were getting stupid encoding overload issues, and that's going to just make the video just not be the quality that I would like, and preferably, I want to make the best quality content for you all. Clotzer is a little bit of an issue, though, because I literally have nothing to hit this with. It is a dark type, and we still are getting encoding overload issues. Hopefully. It should be. I literally have a behemoth of a computer. Like, there should be no reason this is not as happening. I, my computer is like a hundred times better than my original playthrough, and I never had these encoding issues, which is kind of dumb. I don't understand why. Um, but we're going to fight how and then end the episode, I guess, because, you know, I want to make the best quality content, so I need to figure out what the frickety frack is going on with OBS. So we love it so much. It's the best thing in the world, but definitely might need to revert back to 1167 syndrome. Um, origin poles. Uh, Papa might have just died. Oh, gosh. Jimmy darn it. Uh, what can I do to it? Origin pulse and clots are literally nothing. Um, I guess I go into Zayden. Or, I don't know. I don't know what to go into in this scenario. This is a kind of an interesting scenario that I didn't think I'd have to encounter for a hot minute, but I guess we do, because welcome to Pokemon, everybody. Hydro Pump 2, we love that move as well. It's the best move in the game. Did you know that? Do you know Hydro Pump is the best move in the game by far? Um, Storm Throw should kill, luckily. So, his Clotzer is down the drain, hopefully. Yes, okay. It is a guaranteed crit. That's why, again, I'm not freaking out of a crit when it's guaranteed. Like, really, like, there's no point. Um, Trainer How is sending out a skip loom. That's conveniently one of Aaron's favorite Pokemon. Um, no, it's not. I'm joking. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. He loves it though. It's one of his like favorite early gen Pokemon, besides Cubone. Um, I want to get a Cubone as an encounter. Mighty Yenna. That is a no go. We're gonna send out Machamp. Machamp's coming back out because we have we have to. Like, there's no reason we can't. Like, if we don't send out Machamp, it's a problem. Um. Oh yeah, Mightyena gets wrecked by a brick break. So have a great time, Mightyena. Bet that you had a great life. Because you're Mightyena and you have to have a great life. Because if you don't have a great life, then what are you, Mightyena? Like honestly. Like I don't understand what Mightyena would be if it doesn't have a great life. Uh level 21 wants to learn guard swap. Heck no, you're not learning guard swap. That's a trash move that you're never gonna learn in your life. And we are gonna especially when you literally have cotton guard. A Cleffa. We love Cleffa. It's my did you guys know that Cleffa is definitely my favorite Pokemon and not a Pokemon that I'm mad at right now? Got You knew that already? That's awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you guys knew that that was the case, that I didn't like Cleffle, and now I have to fight it again. Um, still no shiny appearance. Interesting. Like, I want to know like when that's going to happen. Uh, I also need to check the abilities of Patters and other Mon. So, got to remind me of that as well because I'm going to forget. Snow Runt. Uh, that's... That's another thing. I'm actually going to send Greenbird out for this one, though. Because Greenbird can, like, fire-type attack it and just freaking frick it up, Batman, you know? How sets out the Snow Runt. The, the dead runt. Um, that thing's going to get wrecked by Searing Shot. Bye-bye. Hopefully you have fun with the Searing Shotting. Um... Super effective. It's gone. Last Mon of the episode, everybody. I cannot believe we actually fought the, those two. And that's a Mudbray. It's Derpa, everybody. Derpa is the best Mon ever. Did you guys know that? Watch. It's actually probably going to be a male one. And then everything I literally said becomes Nolan Void. Because Derpa was only females. We found that out. Um, which is really weird. Like, why? I don't know why we named the female or Derpa, like, the horse. But, like... I don't know. We did. So, even though that is not the true case, we all know women have amazing intellectual prowess over us. Um, okay. Oh, man. 
I wanted to show off Pokemon's best side, but instead, I lost all of them. So you beat both. So you and me both beat the totem, huh? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. And now, I'm not stopping now. I'm going to use this momentum to beat my old Gramps, too. Hey there. Thanks for tracking them down. Just tracking down Lily for me. What is it then, How? You finished your first trial? I bet you used some styling moves. Hehehe. <laughs> it's all thanks to Litten. Hall is probably going to be probably rubbing his hands together in glee about now. Oh, yeah. What is that? What do you mean? It's all part of the trials. Da -da -da -da. You clear the island trial and then you have to complete Kapkali Lahuna. Because completely unnecessary dialogue. But I am going. Oh shoot! Aha! I did good. Okay. Crap. Well, what could have been the statics? Is that a was that an Espeon? That was an Espeon, wasn't it? It was a Glaceon. I was close. Um. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I was actually a lot closer than I thought I was. Um. But yeah, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center, end the episode, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, I got to fix this encoding overload issue, unfortunately. I didn't want to have to fix it, but we do. That was a, like a dot Pokemon. Panpour. Oh, so I only saw the, the, the spout. Interesting. But yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next episode when we try and figure out what the heck is going on with OBS. Um, because that was very high-key annoying. Uh, we were having a great episode, and then OBS pissed me off, and then that changed the demeanor of the entire episode. And, yeah, so, like I said, we are going to go ahead and end this episode here now that we're at a Pokemon Center. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. I love you all so very much.